So now in this video, we have a 555 timer. I bumped the power supply. That's why the LED uh, went off briefly. But in uh, any case, uh, we have it wired as a flip-flop, but there's only one button to this flip-flop. Generally, there's uh, two buttons for the 555 timer uh, flip-flop. Now, the uh, red LED is not very bright, just in case you had trouble seeing it. Because I'm using 5 volts, I believe that I designed the circuit originally for 12 volts. Here's the same diagram, but we got 9 volts uh, right there. And um, I think I just forgot to change that resistor value. Um, I believe that I thought I might have to do like 12 volt, volts to even get this to work. But uh, we got 12 volts there. And there you can see with the blue LED now we have uh, 16 milliamps of current. I'll press the button. And uh, the red LED, 12 milliamps of current. Uh, and it's not very bright. You can see how much uh, brighter the blue LED is. So now, zooming in, we have the uh, 555 right there. When the output is high, red LED lights up. Now we do lose about a volt and a half when the output is high, just uh, the way the transistors work in there. When the output is low, it connects to ground. That's when blue LED lights up. It connects to ground uh, really well. And uh, I did turn the power supply off. That's why neither LED is uh, lit up right now. So there's output pin three to the short lead, the cathode, blue LED, long lead, the anode. Gotta make sure you put it in the right way or it won't light up. Long lead the anode of the red LED to the output, uh, short lead the cathode there, to again, the 1K resistor, which uh, if you're gonna use five volts, I would actually use a 220 ohm, but uh, since it's already on the schematic, I used the 1K. So now, pin four is the reset pin. We don't want it to do anything, so we put it to the positive supply. It's waiting for a voltage closer to ground right there. Uh, if it gets a low enough uh, voltage, it sets the output low no matter what. It's the most powerful input, and it will stay low as long as it has that uh, low input. So we're disabling it. Now, we have two, pin two and pin six. They monitor the voltage. So there is a four right there. Uh, you can see positive supply to disable it. We have the voltage divider right there. I'm using 10K, 10,000 ohm resistors uh, for that. And it's holding the uh, voltage that it sees because that's, uh, that's a dead end right there. So that's the only voltage it can see when the switch is not uh, pressed. So now let's get back to uh, the switch over here. This is the timing part of the circuit right there. Pin seven may be connected to ground, but half the time it is not. Uh, when the output is high, pin seven is disconnected. And um, so it's like it doesn't exist uh, at the moment. The capacitor charges through two resistors. So it does take a little bit longer or twice as long, basically to charge as to uh, discharge. And with the switch open, it just charges. That's all that is going on. So you can see that path uh, right there. Uh, 20,000 ohms of resistance total. Now, uh, I press the switch after it charges. Then it has, you know, the full supply voltage, but over two thirds supply voltage, pin six sees that. It sets the output low, connects to ground. Also pin seven goes uh, to ground right there. And um, so it's holding like two and a half volts when you're using five volts. I press the switch, it sees above that when the capacitor was charged, sets that low, sets that low. The capacitor uh, starts uh, discharging. And um, so this also kind of helps keep the capacitor from overshooting the uh, voltage, but it's not perfect. I could improve on this. Um, so just be aware of that. Now press a button quick that sees high and sets them both low, uh, you know, release it. Uh, the capacitor starts discharging right there. And it's gonna discharge until it's completely discharged. Uh, so less than one third of the supply voltage. Both of these right now are seeing about 2.5. That's the middle ground uh, voltage. It's less than uh, two thirds, more than one third, so it doesn't do anything. These two pins are waiting for the other voltage extremes that are away from the middle. So we close this. Uh, the capacitor had discharge. Pin, uh, pin two sees less than one third supply voltage. It sets the output high, and uh, you know you release it that uh, quick. Um, but uh, yeah, it just sees that uh, uh, high enough, no low enough voltage, and then it sets the output high. And uh, pin seven stops uh, discharging as well, so that the capacitor can charge back up. So yeah, pin six is waiting for two thirds or more, and then pin two is waiting for less than one third. 
So now with the uh, capacitor, again, I think I just tried like different values uh, to see the result, but a larger value capacitor, it's gonna take longer to charge and discharge. Also, it's gonna be less affected by this voltage divider there, which is trying to pull it uh, to a middle uh, voltage. So it's going to, uh, when you press the button and the capacitor is already charged, it's gonna discharge more quickly until it gets to about half the supply voltage and then slow down its uh, discharge. If it's uh, discharged when you press the button, then it's gonna quickly move it to about halfway charged and then make it a little harder to charge while the button is pressed right there. Hopefully that makes sense. And uh, so larger value might work better, but then you can't press the button as often. In fact, I'm pretty sure it would uh, work better. Again, there's plenty of ways to improve this. Um, and uh, again, I think I also, uh, took the circuit I designed for 12 volts, saw that it did work at five volts, although just not as good, and then changed it from like 12 volts to five volts. Um, as I showed before, I got another diagram that's nine volts and uh, same exact uh, diagram. So that may have been why I did that because the red LED was uh, too dim. So yeah, just thought I would mention that. Again, this isn't uh, probably near as good as I thought I could do, but um, uh, maybe I was busy and I just kind of had to kind of go quick when I designed this, but it does work. So I am going to show it again, but uh, in any case, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you uh, in the next video.